Hey everyone, it's Angus here. Um, I just thought I'd show you how I buy stocks within TradingView. So Plug Power is a stock that I quite like. It's um, a hydrogen uh, fuel cell um, oriented stock. And you can see that over the last 12 months, if I click on my one year timeline, you can see it's had a massive you know, 1,026% rise. Um, and that's after it's called come all the way from up here and fallen quite significantly. So at the moment, if I looked at, um, um, you know, let's call it a discount, but if I sort of said from the top price that it was up around here to where it is now, it's dropped almost, you know, 33 um, odd percent. Um, there's no real sort of obvious support and resistance type areas. You could argue through here that, you know, maybe there's a bit of a support area through here. But um, again, I, I like the stock. It's a stock that I'd like to sort of keep trading long term. And you can see down here the RSI is very, very low. Um, the OBVs drop below the um, the you know 30-day moving average or the 14-day moving average in this case, and the volumes you know really well and truly on the you know selling side. So what I'm hoping for is because the RSI is now at this you know real oversold type area, um, I, I'm just going to take a punt that you know the stock might at this stage you know track some people who think it's oversold and. You know they might start to, to you know buy back in, and looking at the pre market, you can see here it's up one and a half percent in the pre market, and so you know after a massive ten percent drop again yesterday, and so I'm hoping that um, you know there might be a bit of a recovery underway, but I still want to be a little bit cautious, so I don't want to go in and buy it right now, but I want to wait until it goes up a little bit, and so I might say if it goes up to I don't know fifty two dollars ish. Um, so you know, recovers this little you know bit here. It might look to be recovering, and so I might buy it around the fifty-two dollar type mark. And then what I'll do is I'll put a stop loss, um, probably around that I don't know, maybe the forty-eight dollar type mark to um you know make sure if it does drop any further, then you know I don't um you know I don't take too much damage on the way down. So the way that I do it is I'll click on these little up and down arrows over here, which is my order panel, and I'm going to say plug. Um, power. I'm going to open up my trade station balance so I can see um, how much money I've got to spend. You can see I've got $1,920 as my balance. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and place a stop order. So this is only going to trigger when the price goes up to my stop price. And when it goes up to my stop price of $52, it's then going to put a market order into the system. So if it doesn't go up and if it heads down, you know, if it's at $51 at the moment, if it heads down the other way, then I stay out of the trade. And I'm only going to enter the trade if it heads up in the right direction. Um, if I was trying to be more conservative, it might say, well, wait till it gets to, you know, 53, 54, you know, even 55. But I do like the stock and it's one that I want to hold long term. So I'm happy to take a punt on it, you know, when it gets to $52. I could put a stop limit in it. So I could say, um, if I click stop limit, I could say um, buy it at 52, but don't pay more than you know 53. For example, is how these ones work. But I'm quite happy to get into the stop uh, the stock at any price. So I'm going to put in a stop order. Um, a limit order would say um, only buy it at 52 dollars. So you know if it if it you know if it somehow opens at 53, then I'm not going to buy it. Um, and a market order would buy it. You know regardless of what the price is, which you know possibly isn't a bad way of doing it, but I do want to make sure that it does go up. So if it, it's at $50.23 at the moment, if for some reason the market went bad in the pre-market and the price dropped down to $48, um, then I don't want to be buying a stock when it's heading down. So that's why I wouldn't use a market order. So I'm going to use stop order. So it's going to have to go up to $52 at least before I buy it. And if it hits $52 or $53, it's going to put a market order into the system. So going to click on account and the number that I want to get to is $1920.39 and you can see it's currently at 780 so this is me increasing the quantity so I'm going to go up by 5, 5, 5, 5, um, 2080 so that's too high so I'm going to take off 1, 2028, 1976, 1924 so that's the number that I've got to get to so 1872 so I'm going to go buy 36 at $52 or a little bit more and then I'm going to put in a stop loss and I'm going to say, if it goes down to $48, um, take me out of the trade. And so you can see I've got $144 at risk. And so at this point, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it's you know got good to close here, then the routing I don't mess with. Um, if I wanted to try and buy this um, 
I guess, outside of market hours. I'd, I'd hit the GTC plus, or I'd hit the day plus if I only want it to last for a day. But 90% of the time, I'll, I'll do GTC um, just as it is because I'm really only interested in when it's live in the market, I want to um, buy it at that stage. So I could do a take profit. I could say, well, if it rockets up to, you know, let's say $80, um, I could automatically have it so it puts in a, a sell. But, you know, again, I, I don't want it to do that. I want to wait until the um, the market um, opens and it's a stock that I'd like to hold long term. So at the moment, I'm going to put a um, buy price in at $52. I'm going to have a stop loss at $48. And so I'm going to click buy 36 plug. And so you can see here, um, the order's now being placed into the market. So, um, you know, that's now ready to go. So I've got five positions. If I click on my orders, um, you can see there's a buy order and there's a sell order. So there's a buyer at 52, there's a sell order at 48. And so hopefully um, when the market opens, um, it will fill at that particular price. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but you can now see that on the, on the screen, there's a stop loss uh, here, and there's a buy order at the $52 mark. So again, I, I don't know if it shows in the videos, but um, I'll just take my word for it, it's there somewhere. So, you know, you've got your buy, buy is where my line is now, and my stop is where my line is now. So you might be able to see them here. Um, TradingView does a really good job of integrating um, trading within its system, so you know it's something that I you know do quite like. Um, it's a you know pretty cool system. So it's as simple as that. If you ever wanted to cancel your order for whatever reason, again you just open up your panel, um, minimize this one, and you can see over to the right hand side over here. See how you got your edit buttons. So I could go and I could you know edit any of those orders, cancel any of those orders, um, you know do what I you know whatever I like at this stage. So that's how I um, place orders within TradingView connected to TradeStation. Thank you for listening.